Hey everybody and welcome back to Empty Pockets Ironworks. Thank you for joining me this week. For this week's project we are going to be making a Viking ship wall hanger. Uh, basically it's just a ship, hangs on the wall, it's got some hooks on it, some of the hooks resemble water. It's a really cool project. Now I can't lay claim to the concept of this because I found it online. I really liked what they did, but I wanted to make it my own. So I started from scratch, completely drew up all new templates. And those templates, as of the making of this video, will be available to you. I know it's been a while since I've had templates, uh, or at least new templates, that are available. So I wanted to get back into the swing of things. Life has been just absolutely crazy for us. Uh, we've had some health issues. I injured myself. Just a lot of different things. And now we're trying to get back into the swing of it. So, if you're interested in these templates, please send an email to EmptyPocketsIronworks at gmail.com. My wife will be more than happy to get you guys hooked up. And uh, yeah, this should be a fun project. Uh, utilizes just a lot of scrap around the shop. That's another nice thing about it. You're not eating up a lot of material. And as long as you have access to a plasma, a forge, angle grinder, and just basic shop tools, a welder, this should be an easy project for you to do. Now, of course, we always like for you to purchase from us. So if you're ever in town, and or you would like to have us ship one of these to you, send us an email and we'll be more than happy to work with you. Thank you all for watching and let's get started. Alright folks, for this section here we're going to add some detail to our ship hole. Basically just using some basic punches, I'm going to start by putting an eye in. Then I'm going to surround that with a hollow punch. And then just start working some detail in. This is one of those things you can get as crazy or as simple with it as you like. So there you have it. Just something simple. Just something to add a little bit of character. You can go as crazy with these as you'd like. For this demonstration, I just decided to keep it kind of simple. Once we add the shaping and the other texture and all the adornments to the ship, I think it'll look pretty cool. Okay folks, so here you can see we're using our rebar cutter. This is an extremely handy tool to have in the shop. Requires no power, just a little bit of leverage, and it pinches the material off. It does leave a little bit of a burr, but quick grinding or just chamfering the edge with the hammer makes it uh, all go away. So for the mast of the ship, I'm using a piece of 3 8 inch scrap. That's 10 inches long. For the oars, we're going to make four and we're going to make those four inches long. And then for the hooks themselves, uh, we will start out with some pieces that are four inches long as well. So we're gonna need a total of eight four inch pieces out of this quarter inch rod. Four will be the oars, four will be the hooks. 